Hey, welcome to Gold's Garage again. And uh, so here's my next victim. Uh, in the previous uh, video, I mentioned that I was going to, in the process of rebuilding a GTO 400 engine. And this is one, but that's not the one I was talking about. This is another one. And uh, a customer brought it to me. Uh, it's been out of the car for many, many years and stored uh, without any oil in it. And uh, and we're going to see whether it's worth starting it or not, it's safe to start it or not. So the process will be uh, first remove the spark plugs, inspect them and see if we got any evidence there. Apparently it was a running engine uh, when it was taken out. So uh, if that checks out, uh, we'll see. We'll get it on the engine stand first of all, of course. Turn it with a bar if it turns freely uh, with a bar without the plugs out. That's a good sign. Uh, the next thing we do, the biggest, one of the biggest risks of starting up an engine like this, and I've done it before, is that the valve lifters are stuck in the bores, they're rusted in the bores, and if they don't, they don't rotate, uh, and the push rods don't rotate, then we're going to burn the cam out in about two minutes, so uh, we, won't, we won't be able to start it. So what I will do is I'll remove the valve covers, uh, and with a white marker put a line on every push rod, and then crank it over. Uh, and without starting it, of course, if they're turning, that's a good sign. Uh, we'll prime the oil system uh, externally. I can do that even without turning the engine over, pressurize it, and put oil into it. And if all those checks uh, take place, you know, we get some spark and some fuel into it and uh, put it on my stand and uh, see if she runs. And that will be. That will be the context of the next video if it makes it that far. If it's going to come apart, it's a whole other scenario which we have to discuss, obviously. So, okay, thanks for watching Gold's Garage, and watch for a follow-up on this uh, on this video.